Pepperdine Waves taking on St. Mary's Gales on a beautiful sunny afternoon at Firestone Fieldhouse. Bria Richardson not playing for the second straight game. First half, after posting a career high in points, Olivia Agumake got the game started with a jump shot to put Pepperdine up 2-0. St. Mary's would respond with a 14-5 run, led by Shannon Malden, who had 14 points with four triples in the first half. The Waves were able to cut the lead to as much as four due to St. Mary's dry spell, shooting one for five with three turnovers. Over the last five minutes of the half, Pepperdine storms back with a 7-0 run, including Kim Jacobs' three-pointer with two seconds left in the half. At halftime, the Gales held a 22-27 lead over the Waves. Second half, coming out of the break, the Waves would go on a 4-0 run to cut the lead to 1, 27-26, behind Agumake's jump shot. However, the Gales would increase the lead back up to 6. The Waves responded with a battle of their own, led by members off the bench in a quick run to take a 49-48 lead after Kim Jacobs' clutch three-pointer. Jacobs would finish with 12 points off the bench to lead the team along with Agumake, who had 10 points and 7 rebounds. It was a freshman takeover, but it wasn't enough as the Waves would fall to the Gales 53-49 to at home. Yeah, again, I think it was a, a gutty performance without having Bria Richardson in, out there. Um, I think the girls all stepped up. Our freshmen did a really good job. Again, you know, we hit a couple shots, we get a couple rebounds, and we're right there. Um, we're knocking on the door. I'm waiting for the girls to kick in the door, but we're knocking on it right now.